entrepreneur innovations don't come from the big company they come from some smart guys sitting with their machine somewhere and they have this idea and they decide to make it open source now of course the businesses start they take the open source and then they wrap it around with some you know wrap around some really cool stuff around you know and then make a use case out of it to develop a business around it Mr Segal when we talk about technology there are a lot of innovations that are happening um, literally every day so how do you foster an environment of in- uh, innovation within your company and what role does it play in the constantly evolving tech industry see uh, there are many innovations of course everybody keeps talking about artificial intelligence but there are mo- there are more things than that you know and a lot of things i find a lot of innovation comes from what we refer to as open source projects you know the projects which start you know which get started by some engineering genius some software genius somewhere in his garage his desktop or his laptop or something and he decides to make it open source you know in especially in us which is kind of at the forefront of technological innovation and also now these days india is also coming up pretty well the majority of the innovations don't come from the big companies they come from some smart guys sitting with their machine somewhere and they have this idea and they decide to make it open source now of course the businesses start they take the open source and then they wrap it around with some you know wrap around some really cool stuff around you know and then make a use case out of it to develop a business around it and a number of innovations have come like that and they will continue to the way we do i do it i we dedicate is a bunch of resources a set of resources in our company to participate in such open source projects so we are also participating i cannot say that we are as innovative as the guy who is sitting somewhere who's come up with the first project no but we are not too far behind we start part of we shall look at the those pro- open source projects and look at the ones which are relevant to us in our market and we start participating with them start contributing to that and then it can it continues and then of course some companies some some of those bets have paid paid off really well some of course you know don't see the light of the day and it is fine that's a risk we all take when you are in the innovation part of the innovation journey these are the risks you take not every innovation becomes useful to the people or find its market at the right time some are ahead of time some are mostly most of them are ahead of time <laughs> so mr sehgal talking about the risk um how important it is for somebody to understand the world in itself and how to change their mindset when it comes to taking risk you know shruti when i you know i conduct many podcasts and and sessions for startups or uh, the budding entrepreneurs my usually my line there is be bindas you know and bindas here to me means risk taker and uh, i think in the era you know i'm i'm lot older than you and perhaps many of your viewers and in the era that i grew up in risk was not the word word in our dictionary and for some reason i realized that i was quite different from the people around me even when i you know look at my classmates in school or college with the exception of one or two guys nobody else you know did business and even the guys who did business because they were encouraged by their families in my family there was no businessmen and everybody kind of you know was in the government service so the the preferred path was go in that direction and now i'm very happy to see how today's generation is completely different i recently met a class somewhere in college in mba and out of let's say 30 students 25 of them wanted to start a business or the other it was very encouraging to see so to me the risk taking is is nothing but in a way coming out of your own constraints that you have put on yourself i'm not going to say risk taking is the market you will start betting things and all risk taking is an attitude even in your job you can be a risk taker you know you've been asked to write a piece of code let's say or let's say write a report 
or let's say come up with a business model revenue model depending upon your education or your job even there you can be a very safe guy who's always who puts a lot of constraints around himself or herself and then works you know to, uh, works along the direction given to to him or her or you can be a risk taker to me entrepreneurship is an attitude you know that one requires it can learns or acquires when one unleashes its own constraints and that to me is risk taking and anybody can be a risk taker or everybody should be a risk taker some amount of risk taking beyond that amount you could be stupid you know <laughs> right so it is a it is it is i would say how much risk you want to take and of course unless you take you will not know how much you should you should take and that is up to you